five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Hi, folks. This is Brian from Soulful Fitness Roller Skate Training. In this snippet, I am taking a closer look at the absolute basics of double-sided wiggling. Now, I know there are different names going around for this move, and I absolutely don't name to claim, but it is strictly meant as a personal reference to this technique, which has many, many variations and follow-ups. Going through our body of work, you may or may not have come across the term quick shifts or quick shifting. And the basic difference is wiggling usually refers to moving left and right simultaneously, as you will be shown in this snippet. Quick shifting usually refers to moving just one side or both sides consecutively. So there you go. Now, as I said, this is the absolute basics and Linda on shoes and Mariska on skates are ready to show you how it's done. In this first stage, feet and skates are moving parallel and at starting position, the heels are pointed slightly outwards. Everything you do on shoes in this stage can be copied one-on-one -on, -one on roller skates. The girls will move to the right first, which means the right toe and left heel go up first. As they continue to move to the right, but the placement of their feet and skates has changed, now the heel on the right goes up and the toes on the left. Let's see that again, but in regular speed, one motion, one count to the left and to the right. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and four. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and four. Now I'm going to stick to the same tempo, but change the camera angle so you can see the movement is in parallel direction, which is still important in this stage. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and four. Move to the left. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. So let's do eight counts in a row, to the left and to the right, but still in a slow pace. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Let's take it up another notch. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then move to the left. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so much for the basics. Now let's see how we translate this exactly to a fluent rhythm skate move. From this angle you can clearly see the difference. The left skate is in front of the right skate in a 90 degree angle and then goes back to parallel position. The most important thing you want to pay attention to is that there is no space between the heels when the skates are in that 90 degree angle. If there's too much space it will mess up your balance and your flow. And you will have a hard time to incorporate different variations and follow-ups. So in the early stages, you will absolutely benefit from keeping strict form. And as you progress, you will be able to play around with more space between the heels and different positions. Practicing forms to become formless. That is a very important principle within the Soul for Fitness roller skate training system. That means you don't think about what you're doing or want to do. Your technique is on point and you just react to the music and get into your own flow. 
That is absolute freedom and a fantastic feeling. And you don't need complicated techniques for that. Just short riffs and forms and practice them, adjust them, mix them up till you become formless. Let's focus one more time on placement and angles in slow mode, meaning one motion, one count. Let's go to two counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, I hope this snippet gave you a little insight in how to grow these wiggles into full-blown funky rhythm skate moves. Now you know what to do and what you need to pay attention to. And especially don't forget that 90 degree angle and preferably little to no space between the heels. Because if you mess it up, it's not going to feel funky. As I'm having a lot of fun doing these snippets and a lot of people have been contacting me lately with kind words and comments, I truly appreciate all the kind gestures and support. So thank you very much for that. And although I'm currently working on different projects, I will continue. But feel free to check out my other stuff on Instagram and the Esquin Foundation Facebook page. And also the Fresh Apparel Shop on Teespring, where I have great guest designers supporting the causes I work for. I'll make sure to put up the links in the description of this video. So thank you again for watching, but more importantly, stay safe out there and make it funky.